when people disembark their ships, this is the beautiful street they walked upon as they entered the city of Ephesus. And surely Paul, Aquila, and Priscilla must have been mesmerized by the glistening, beautiful marble that lined this street, which is 1,800 feet long and 35 feet wide. And not only was the street beautiful itself, but it led to the theater, which you can see in the distance. When they arrived, there's a good chance the theater could have been filled. Something could have been taking place in the theater at that very time. And if that had been the case, they would have heard the crowd laughing. And these streets would have been filled with life. And in fact, on both sides of these streets are what we cover, called covered colonnades. There were 200 columns on one side, 200 columns on the other side, which supported a terracotta roof. Under the roof were shops where they sold statues of Artemis, statues of the gods, and scattered between were apses where you could see statues of gods and statues of heroes. And under the covered colonnades were exquisite mosaics, exquisite mosaics, which were very famous to the city of Ephesus. This was the entrance that Paul, Aquila, and Priscilla had as they entered the city of Ephesus. And the Bible tells us that when they came, Paul went immediately to the synagogue to look for Jews with whom he could begin to describe the gospel. This is where the whole ministry began in Ephesus.